so we got um got Lumos Arsenal fan, Perry Arsenal fan, myself Travis Arsenal fan. We got Seb who's a Man United fan. But we're gonna discuss everything Arsenal. It's only right. It's only exactly. right. Exactly. By far the greatest team. <laughs> <laughs> so first, I'm gonna start off with Lumos. What are you saying about our signings this season so far? Well, today, well, let's talk about today's news, isn't it? About Akpom going on loan. So now that he's going on loan, after Wenger said he was going to stick around, yeah, I'm a lot more confident that something's happening. Then there was that talk before about like chat on Twitter from I don't I don't really believe ITKs but there's certain ones that you know they have some degree of credibility and it's gonna when they gain traction online you start to think well, it might just happen. So I'm starting to think that like, Benzema is possible. It's been shut down by by a manager's boat. The same old, you know, same old generic um, I'm happy with the player, he fits into the squad kind of thing, but not Definitely saying that there's no way at all I'll ever sell this player like they would say for Bale or Ronaldo. So, I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up, but I think the possibility is still likely that we could get Benzema. And I'm very happy with signing Chet, man. Like, you saw on on Sunday the quality of the guy, like, the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's so solid. Three games, three trophies. Well, you know, you can call it trophies. Well, major trophies, but still, you know. When Fabregas, when it happened with Fabregas, they were bantering us off for about two games, two trophies. So we can say three games, three trophies. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny because me and Perry, we've, we've, we, we weren't obviously we know Czech's quality, but we like Ospina. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, looking around in it, so I think after seeing the Community Shield, I, okay, I, I kind of understand because. It wasn't even just the saves; it was just a presence. Yeah, yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Like when, when you know, whenever we we can see the corner, you're thinking, yeah, "Here we go." But I felt comfortable. Check, like even when check jump out and punch the ball, if that was shit, I'd think thinking like, "Oh, it's, it's not gonna go right," kind of thing. <laughs> so, no check to this. It's, you expect it to all be so. It was. It was so commanding. It was so commanding. Your point about Atpom was very interesting as well because. Up until that point, I just didn't expect any striker to be coming in. But now that you've mentioned it, I yeah. feel like you've done that thing where hopes come back in again, John. Yeah. So you were saying because Akpom has been allowed to go out without any qualms, that you reckon that um, that leaves Arsenal short for cover, which means that we should be getting a replacement. Is that what you're basically? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because also, like he after his game in Singapore, when they basically said like, "No, I don't want to loan him out. I want to keep him around." Hmm. Say that. So then. I don't know if it's if it's. I thought he was going to learn that he will be, or maybe he's going to keep it. Will be around. I don't know, but still we still have a decent amount of like in numbers wise in cover. Maybe not quality wise, but numbers wise. Obviously, yeah, you've got, I think we're fine. Yeah, but uh, we still have like we still have obviously Walcott and Giroud. Walcott's look probably likely to play more of a attacking role or a, a striker role this season. And then obviously you've got um, Welbeck. Oh yeah, we're forgetting about. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe. You could be onto something, but I feel like still numbers-wise, I think Wenger's... Like, I, I would say he's probably still confident with three potential strikers. You know he likes he likes to just utilise players, even if they're not if it's not their natural position. So, mm. you know what Wenger's like. So, I don't know. I think, and Seb would probably agree with me, is a very similar situation, a striker situation with Arsenal... And Man United, really, like, I think their targets will probably be similar targets as well. Seb, what yeah, do you think? it's like we were saying earlier. Um, there is a shortage of available top-class strikers that you want of Champions League quality at the moment. I mean, Benzema, you've been linked with. Um, how true that is, we don't know. Um, but other than that, who else can you really think of? That's like yeah, a really numbers, target. Numbers start dwindling. Names start dwindling as soon as you like. Start to name a couple. You got Lewandowski, but like you need to remember, a lot of people think, oh yeah, the like this player's sick. Arsenal should go and buy him. But then you look at it and it's like, does the club even want to sell? That's the main. That's like the biggest obstacle. Is like, will is the club willing to sell for yes, for yes. what amount of price? You're sounding like Wenger here, but it's true. <laughs> it is true. I'm not even like. Um, I'm not really. I would not describe myself as pro Wenger, and I still would. 
I still say that. Like, I can't really... When you look at the available strikers in the market, it's like, who are better than what we already have, it's hard to um, to find names. Okay, guys. Okay, a lot of people have brought up the defensive midfielder situation at Arsenal. And I wanted to get your opinions on it. What do you think, Lumos? I don't think it's happening, maybe. I don't think, I don't think so. Uh, Robbie made a point to me saying how Arteta signed a contract. For me, he's still not gone. So there's not really... What's it? Um, Carvalho got injured for three months. Mm. Who else got... Who else is there that we would sign that's sick in that position? schneiderlin has gone to United. So... I don't, I don't know. What really do you think, <laughs> Terry? Um, I was hoping for like some cover for Coquelin because we need to remember that um, we've only seen him perform for just over half a year. Like we don't know how well he's going to do for the whole year. Like is his form gonna, uh, is his form gonna fluctuate? Also, is he gonna stay fit for the entire season? He's gonna be under a lot of demand, like playing Champions League, FA Cup, Premiership. So I think it's very important that we get adequate cover because obviously we've seen how Arteta and Flamini in that position are not really adequate for like the level that we, we want to be performing at. And um, it's, it's a bit of a shame, but like I do agree with you, Lumos. Um, I think that, um, yeah, like again, same similar sort of thing with strikers. It's like quality, like who's, who's out there? United went and got Schneiderlin, which is a good signing for them. He could have fitted in Arsenal as well in that same and like battled Coquelin for that position, but he wouldn't have wanted to do that. So, um, what do you think he should do? Do you think he should go for a top class defensive mid? That's yeah, maybe I think he start should. ahead of Coquelin. Yeah, do you think he's worried Someone's, about stunning his development? Or I would get somebody who's established, and I would get somebody who's um, already like the equivalent to like a Schweinsteiger, someone around that kind of age where Coquelin's career is not a threat at Arsenal, but someone who can see him through and give him a bit of a challenge in that role. Not so I'm, much to like grow him into the role, but more to like let him be let it be a bit competitive. That's when you bring the best out of a lot of these footballers. Personally, I'm worried because I know the moment Coughlin gets struck down with some sort of injury or suspension, I expect him to get a suspension, the position he plays at some point. But like the moment he gets struck down with like an injury, I, f- I fear the worst for us because I just don't trust Arteta or Flamini in that position. Like last season was enough for me to think that so it's a bit of a worry for me at the moment yeah going back to the striker point I think that could be that could be the one he looks at because I've heard recently he's mentioned Welbeck as a midfielder um how do you mean on the wing or in the wing must be on the wing on the wing yeah, yeah. he classed Welbeck in the category of midfielders so um, that would leave you just Giroud and Walker as you were saying earlier Perry so mm. um if you're battling on the front of the FA Cup Premier League Champions League Carling Cup if the two enough, it would mean you would have to go for another striker, surely, wouldn't it? Yeah, but even you, like, who would you? Who's out there who you reckon could do a job up front? For, for us, us. For do us you think he then looks at a younger option that, like, like a Lacazette, maybe that's not necessarily proven in the Premier League, <laughs> but one that can play. But you know, Wenger always says, yeah, and same with um, Gazidis and all that. Whenever they get interviewed, they say, yeah. There's players out there we can get, but are they better than what we've currently got? Like this is what I constantly hear them saying. Like there's players available, but are they better than? I don't think they're gonna sign Lacazette because Lacazette, is, I would say, is better than Jude or better than Luke. They like yeah. I don't think that would happen. Like maybe two or three years ago, and I'm um, see today I read something. I think it was from someone credible because someone who wouldn't send me bullshit sent it to me, and it was that our targets striker wise allegedly are Benzema in, in ranking order Benzema Lewandowski and then Abemian. so I don't know Abemian as a striker I don't know if Abemian's better than Lacazette but <coughs> is Abemian better than Walcott seriously I don't know but he's very similar type player in maybe yeah <laughs> anyway this is this is probably one of the most important questions where Will Arsenal finish at the end of this season? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Lumos. Everyone asks me this question, I'll give the same answer. So I don't want to answer the question until <laughs> like, the window's closed, innit? Because then yeah. people will try and like use things against you that you can't really you can't really call anything until the window's shut and you know the team that's gonna be competing. That's an interesting point. 
But see what, that, see what? that point. See that point is that point is exactly why if I was Wenger, I'd always try and get my business done before the yeah. Premier League season even starts. But yeah, you just, it's not always that easy. Man. Yeah, I, did, I, I said this. I said this in, on the interview I did on the weekend with Robbie because he asked me a similar question. I'm like, I just don't feel the confidence right now to be going out and like bigging up my chest. Like, yeah, we're going to do it. Fuck Chelsea, fuck United, for everyone else. Like, we're going <laughs> to. I don't feel like that yet. But if we made those two signings with the right players, then I feel that we could win it. Like, like the only way we couldn't win it is if like our whole team, like half the team, just got injured all at once, kind of thing. But right now, I feel like I feel, like, I feel confident. Whereas if we had a good enough team and say we lost Ozil or we lost um, one of our strikers for say two months out of the season, I still think we'd have a good enough team to still push on because the team mentally is strong enough now, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Perry. Yeah, Perry. What do you think of this season? Based on the current, like the current transfer activity that's been done, the current deals that have been done, I'd say Arsenal will be looking at similar, similar situation to last season. Because even though we've improved in terms of goalie, like Chelsea have improved, so Mm. and Man City have improved. So it's like even when you improve one step, if another team has improved in the top four, has improved two or three steps, then. It's like it just equals out the equivalent. Um, so in terms of current tracks of activity, I'd say we're looking, we'd be looking at a third push for second. Um, and I think if we could get a world-class striker in, and um, yeah, I, I, like I said before, I realistically think we'd get one one name in. And if we could get if that was a striker, I think we could be pushing for the league. If we've got a world-class striker, I think Arsenal could be pushing to the league. Um, I don't think I don't think Giroud would be the guy to bring you through the Champions League, the league, the FA Cup, holding the team on his back, banging like goals week in, week out. I think from what I've seen, he does fluctuate like the form. Like he'll go through a good spell of form, then he'll dry up, then he'll go through a good spell of form. So um, yeah, I mean, if Arsenal could get somebody who could who could like front line the team on a world class level, then I think they could be pushing for the league. But until then, say. Yeah, similar to similar to last season. Currently, currently. Seb, as a United fan, where do you think Arsenal are going to finish next season? And I got to add, Seb told me earlier that he thinks Man United are going to finish second. Jeez, which Big statements there? Which is interesting. I want to see where he thinks Arsenal are going to finish. I personally think um, you can look at second place and maybe in a fight for the title. Um, I think last season, um, injuries to consistency. I think if you can keep injuries out of your team, um, you can definitely look to rival Chelsea and Man City for the title. Um, I mean, if you do get a striker, it's going to strengthen that position even further. Because, um, yeah, compare yourself to United, I mean, you're a lot more settled. Like Your players have played together for a longer time. Um, there's not the bedding in process that's going to be needed at United. So, so yeah, I think you can aim higher than that. So if United are going to finish second, where are Arsenal going to finish? <laughs> you put me on the spot here, man. Um, you know, I think you can fight for second and even the title. I think even the title. I think that's a realistic option from the outside looking in. That's what I think personally. Yeah, I think um, Seth thinks United are going to finish second. I think Arsenal are going to finish second. So it makes for an interesting it, it really does, it's interesting it really does. does. transfer deadline day is going to be it's going to be lit <laughs> it's going to be that way. it's going to be mental nah it will be because I swear like, was last year's one like popping I can't remember you know yeah, last, I don't think it was was it this one was the dodo one. Oh yeah <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you're right yeah, but what, what did Arsenal do that, that day well back in that's oh it. yeah in the early doors, we got Welbeck in. There. Remember, Wenger was meant to be doing refereeing at some charity match, and people were just people were just getting mad, like people were getting angry because he's refereeing, and we wanted a striker. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That, yeah. that. that is funny. That is funny. I think uh, that's it. I think that's I think it. We people. wrapped this thing, man. Yeah, cool. man. Lumos, thanks for coming on, man. Big ups. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you, guys.